All right, what's up everybody? So um, I've been asked a few times about my Carb Cheater app setup that I have running um, in my 73 Newport back here. Um, so basically I'm gonna do a quick video on um, what I have, how I have it set up, and how I made it work. Um, it definitely does work. Uh, I'll pop in some more information about why I kinda, like, I'm an audio guy, so like, you know, it, it's, a more powerful radio would work better, but it does work, and I can show you that it works. Um, as you can see, it's my, I'll do a quick, you know, there's my, my 73 Newport, and obviously, you know, powered by Carp Cheater. So, basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pop inside, I'll give you a, a little tour of what I got set up, and then uh, I actually uh, removed, uh, disconnected Bluetooth, because I actually had it hooked up to my phone and not my deck right now so i'm going to put it back show you how i connect the bluetooth on it and um we'll see about firing it up it's it's still cold and but you'll still see it connect to uh the carb cheater and so on so um let me go ahead and uh let's get inside so we can take a look so i've got a little light on here should help a little bit actually I turn this up a little bit let's just see a little inside the car so what i ended up doing like i said i'm an audio guy so you can see i got speakers in the door um, in the kick panels, I should say. If I pop on in here, um, obviously factory, it had a uh, radio installed up here, a little single den. Um, I 3D printed a plate just to cover it up and you know, that's where I run my wires for my microphone and charger. So I do have a spot for my phone if I wanted to run Carb Cheater there. I actually don't like to, because I'm always using my phone for stuff. Um, I think it's much better to have it on a separate device. Turn on my power. You can hear my subs kicking in. So I do have subs in here too. Most likely I'll um, get the camera closer and turn down the lights. Probably help this thing see. But you can already see, like, it, it took a little bit to get booted up. Um, now this deck does have GPS, and that's how it tracks mile power and, and carb cheater. And you can see at the top right, it's already connecting. It's already got 10 satellites. So that does work. And there is no cell service, nothing else. It has Wi-Fi right now just because I'm in my garage, so I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. But let's turn down this light a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can put this camera somewhere. It makes it easier to see. And basically, so let's go actual Bluetooth. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and search devices. It even says in the search. <laughs> oh man. And you can see, pop right up, carb cheater. So I'm gonna click it, and you have to hit I'm trying to remember. There it goes, and it's paired. Um, every once in a while, it will pop up and ask me for the pairing code, which um, is the same as the instructions for setting up on your phone uh, one, two, three, four right? Or four zeros. One of the two. I've had it connected before, so it remembered it, but you can see it's paired. So now if I go back here, we'll go back home. Okay. Now we're going to boot up the carb cheater. Come on. Now, once you have it up and running, it's great. So it's connecting, boom. I'll have to hide my uh, my key, but you get the idea. So there it is, up and running. Um, I mean, I could go ahead and try to start it up real quick. Um, wouldn't hurt anything, I guess. Um, yeah, let me, uh, let me, uh, Oh, see, I'm stuck down here on the floor. Let me um, get the garage door open because this thing smells a lot. And um, we'll fire it up just so you can see stuff on the screen and see how, how that works. But, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right. Let's put a little light in here. I mean, it's definitely warmer. It's supposed to be almost 50 today, but I'm still not ready to get the car out. But... Uh, all right, let's uh, let's fire it up. Uh, it definitely will be a cold start. It's been sitting for, I, don't know, I made a cold start video maybe two weeks ago. So we'll pop on in here. 
And uh, yeah, we'll just keep this right about here. Hopefully you'll still be able to hear me. Let's give it a little gas. Ah, it almost stayed running. Um, I definitely got to work on my uh, my carburetor cold, uh, my um, choke settings, um, the cold idle. But I'll just give her another crank here. There you have it. Let me pop out so you see what it looks like. So it looks good from outside. You can actually see it. And I can just leave that on the screen all the time. Right there, baby. Harp cheater. Yeah, so that's that's really how this works. So I'll go in, I'll take a little bit of um, Go ahead and turn her off here. So, give myself a little bit of light, maybe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and uh, I'll show you the exact one I bought. Um, like I said, it works. Um, obviously, you can see it. Um, once I start playing music and uh, have Bluetooth going, or if I'm playing like a YouTube uh, app or something outside of Carb Cheater. Um, I mean, if you're doing just like station radio, you know, FM, AM, and running the Carb Cheater, it's probably fine. Um, but I run, um, you know, like a YouTube music app. I run the Carb Cheater app at the same time. I got Bluetooth going for calls, and I run uh, a sound system in here as well, and I got 212s and an amp in the truck. So there's a lot going on. So it's a little bit slower for me, but as you can see, it does work. So uh, I'm gonna pop inside now. Um, there's still a little screen grab of my Amazon, the deck that I did get for this thing. And um, I mean, it, you'll see too, it's cheap. It's like I paid 70 bucks when I bought mine. Um, but it does work and uh, yeah, and I'll show you what, uh, what you should look for when you're getting one. As promised, here's um, the actual uh, purchase that I made for the radio that I got in my in my car. Um, as you see, I bought it last August, got it installed. I think I posted some videos when I first got it up and running um, in the group, uh, just to show that I did get it going. Um, basically, I'll give you a quick rundown on what I looked for to buy this one. And uh, one of the things was, you know, 90 bucks plus 20% off right now. I actually got it cheaper than that. I think I paid 70 when it was on sale. Um, if I had to do it again, uh, maybe I'd go with something a little more powerful. Because one of the things I kept saying throughout this is that you can't run a lot of apps at once. This doesn't have a lot of memory. Um, and matter of fact, that what it means by one G plus 32 is one gig of RAM plus 32 gigs of storage. Um, obviously, I'm not really storing anything on it. I don't really care about that. But having two gigs of RAM would probably make this run a lot better. But with that said, um, basically you could get any one of these decks to work, assuming that you just make sure of a couple small things. 
Um, one, you obviously want GPS. Uh, I didn't show it in my video of my car. My antenna for my GPS is actually up on the dash. I just ran it under the dash and dropped by the driver's side window. Matter of fact, if you scrolled back to when I was showing the carb cheater uh, sticker in the window in the beginning, you've probably seen it inside the dash right there. That's where it sits. Um, it's not it's not stuck down or anything. It's just sitting right there. It's small. Uh, and that's the antenna. So uh, GPS does work. Um, you can see your speed in carb cheater. Uh, but that's not the biggest thing, right? So if I didn't have my speed, fine, whatever. The biggest thing is I need to be able to install Carb Cheater directly on this device. I don't want to mirror my phone screen. I don't want my phone involved whatsoever. I want everything to run directly on the deck. So when I started out looking for this, I wanted something that had a newer version of Android at the time. So Android 13, I was like, I'm fine with that. Um, another reason why is chances are they're not gonna release an update for this deck. They put whatever's on there is on there. That's what you get. Um, so as long as this newer one, it'll last for a while. Um, and unless the carb cheater requires Android 16 at some point, it'll always work. Um, usually that, that's not something to worry about. Um, but the biggest thing, like I said, is having the play store. And what I've found is if you, um, on any of these Android decks, if you look through what you want to find is that they tell you, you can use, uh, apps from the play store. Right, so this is where I found that out. So under GPS and navigation and Wi-Fi, I see uh, it tells me about GPS, fine. Um, but if I scroll down here, it says you can also download apps from the Play Store, such as YouTube, TikTok, Spotify, and more. And when I read that, I seen and more, and I said, ah, Carb Cheater. <laughs> um, so obviously I didn't know for sure the Carb Cheater app would work on this, but I bought it and tested it, and obviously you see my video that it did work. Um, so that's the biggest thing. You have to make sure that it has the Play Store. Um, it's hard to tell. Like if it wasn't for this one line, I don't think anything else in here. I was trying to look through the pictures um, to try to see if I seen something that would kind of tip me off. Um, I mean, you do see that like in this picture, right? It's got Twitter, Instagram, um, Facebook Messenger. Like there's a lot of apps that are not on a Android device by default. This is stuff you have to install. So as long as I know I can install apps, perfect, all right? Um, the only other thing is Bluetooth. This one does have a newer Bluetooth. I can just Bluetooth 5. Um, you definitely want a newer Bluetooth. I know some people said they had issues connecting uh, Carb Cheater to different devices. Um, it could be a Bluetooth limitation. Um, I think one of these first decks I had, I had an older one that did have Play Store, uh, but it had, um, uh, Bluetooth 3, 3 point something. I, I don't remember off the top of my head. It's been a while since I was messing with it. Uh, but I couldn't get that one to connect via Bluetooth. This one, however, as you see in my video, I was able to connect it, no problems whatsoever. So um, like I said, this is what I use. I, I'm going to post a link of this at the bottom of the uh, YouTube video. I do not, it's not an affiliate link. I don't resell this. It's my own testing that uh, I was able to get this to work. And I'm probably gonna switch mine out at some point for something different, just cause, you know, I like I said, I probably want more memory in mine just cause I do run a lot of stuff at once. Um, so if you're just doing Bluetooth audio and carb cheater, you're probably fine. Unlike me where I got, you know, Google Maps and, and YouTube and and my Bluetooth for my phone and carb cheater, <laughs> it's just too much for uh, the 1G one. So anyway, uh, there you guys go. If you have any questions, feel free to post them. I'll, I'll try to answer, but, um, yeah, thanks guys.